Uh, hi, it's Gordon here at Averlights, and I'm going to take you through using custom highlight and locate values. In this particular show file, I've got a series of fixtures that are rigged so that when they locate, they're pointing straight down. This is not particularly useful for me as I can't clearly see what they're doing. If I move the tilt of these fixtures up, I can clearly see that what they're doing right now and they're all working. Now inside Titan, you can record custom locate and custom highlight states to make your programming life easier. Both highlight and locate don't put any values into the programmer, but this is a good starting position for me to work with. This is what locate is used for whenever people are programming. If I press record and then tap the locate button, then I've got the options of individual fixture values or shared values, and I can press record on soft key B. Now, whatever these fixtures are up to, when I press locate, they're gonna locate straight to that position. Highlight is the same method. If I turn highlight on, there's no color values going into the programmer, but at the moment it is changed so that all of those lights are yellow. If I start going through using fixture plus one, you can see all of the lights that I'm not currently controlling have turned blue, but the one that I am controlling is currently yellow. Now, depending on what fixtures you're using, this blue color might not be very useful. Recording a custom highlight can get around that quite nicely. If I select all of those lights and I tell them to be red, this is a nice clear color that I can see. If I press record and I press the highlight button this time, then I've got two options on my soft keys. I can store highlight state, which is when those lights are selected. I can store low light state, which is when those lights are not selected. So I'm gonna tap soft key C. Now when I turn highlight on and I start scrolling through these fixtures, you can see that when they're not selected, they're now red. And when they are selected, they are currently yellow. Another good example of this is when you've got a series of dimmer channels. Here you can see I have a number of parkans dotted around my stage. As soon as I locate them, they're gonna to locate to 100% by default. Most times this can be perfectly fine, but if I turn the intensity down, I might like this as my locate value for these dimmer channels. So I could say record and locate and then soft key B. Now I haven't set a limit to these fixtures, I can still turn them up to 100% intensity, but when I locate, they're gonna locate with that new instruction. Highlight with dimmer channels also works. By default, when those lights aren't selected, they'll be nice and dim, but when they are selected, they'll be at 100%. This could be perfect for what you're doing, but if you just wanna see the lights that are selected when you're working with them in highlight, I could turn the intensity to zero. I could then say record, highlight, and store the low light state. Now, rather than those lights being dim, it's just gonna be the light that I'm working on, which is gonna be turned to 100% intensity. That's how to use custom highlight and custom locate values. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.